In this video, we'll be discussing about wheel and axle setups and pulleys. Now, these two topics are basically types of simple machines. Of the six types, these are two of them. Let's dive into a little bit more details about this. So the wheel and axle setup is very useful. Let's say you have a big box that you're trying to push and it's just very difficult. You'd most probably now want to attach two wheels, two sets of wheels to this box so that you can roll it on the floor, right? And how would you attach these wheels? You'd most probably want to do it through this setup where you have the wheels here and you have a rod connecting the wheels and that's called the axle, right? This is most probably what you'd want to do. Let's look at a simple DIY video. So here we've, let's play this. Here we've got this red metal piece and it's clear that this doesn't move very freely. But what if we add wheels to it? Here's our axle, the rod that joins both the wheels. We connect it and then we attach it to the frame and we attach a wheel on the other side. Done. We do the same thing with the other set of wheels. Here's the axle, attach both the wheels to the axle and there you go. Now we're good to go. Now you'll see that this rolls very easily, right? That's what we would expect and that's what we see. So it's as simple as that. Now the wheel and axle setup was one of the first inventions by um, modern man, we can say. And uh, today you can find it used all across the board, right from say uh, automobiles to, we can see it in bicycles, we can see it in uh, various places, even different machines and factories, you'd see wheel and axle setups. But this is one of the unexpected places where you'll see it, in a rolling pin. You might be like, wait, I don't see a wheel there. Let's explore. Look at this. This is our rolling pin. Here is the axle, right? And this portion is actually a really broad wheel. Never thought about that, right? Okay, now let's move on to the next topic, and that's pulleys. So here's an old pulley. I'm pretty sure you've seen something like this when you draw water out of a well. If you've done that, I'm sure you're familiar with this thing. Anyway, let's see how this works. So a pulley is actually a wheel with a groove. You would see that there's a small groove here through which we can actually run a thread like that, or a rope, or a chain, whatever you have. And let's say we attach something like a bucket of water at one end and and on this end we're pulling down on the rope. This is a very useful piece of equipment where you know we apply force on one side here right and this is our force applied and you'd see that the force experienced by the bucket is in the opposite direction right so this is a simple machine which could change the direction of the force right it changed the direction of the force and that's very useful for us because it's much easier to pull down on this rope than to pull the rope up but why is that let's look at this example let's say you have a pulley and a block and you want to pull this block up let's say you're here and you're trying to pull the rope down now the force that you are applying is in the downward direction right? And your body weight is also acting in the downward direction. Body weight is also acting in the downward direction. So you can use your body weight to apply that downward force, right? On the other hand, let's take this scenario where you have to pull an object up using a rope. That's you. And here's your object and your rope. Let's say you need to pull the object up. So your force is applied in the upward direction and the body weight is in the downward direction. In this case, you can't use your body weight to help you apply the force, right? And that's why this becomes hard because the force and the body weight are in opposite directions, whereas this becomes easy because you can use the body weight to apply the force. Okay? We have a small video to show how a pulley works. Here's our pulley. Can you see the groove there? Right? And we're going to wrap a thread around the pulley in that groove. There we go. We wrap it around and then we attach an axle through the pulley. And I've already made this setup so that it's a little easier uh, to understand. Here we have a shaft that's the axle that rotates clockwise or anti-clockwise and pulls our object up or down. Okay, uh, let's uh, go to the uses of pulleys. Pulleys are used in wells, which I'm sure you've seen. Pulleys are used in cars. Pulleys are used in generators. 
And pulleys are even used in sewing machines. And I'm pretty sure you would have seen a pulley at work in a sewing machine, even if you didn't recognize it. You can have a look now. So here's our sewing machine. Let's zoom into this part. Uh, if you carefully look at this part, you'll see a thread running around, right? And there is our pulley. Okay, so that's actually a pulley. I'm not sure if you spotted it before. That's it for this video. So we were able to go through wheel and axle setups and pulleys.